Yeah. Here we go. So hello everyone, I am Antonio from Igalia and I'll try to give a quick uh, overview about the La Crosse and the Ozone Wayland projects. And <clears throat> basically, uh, one important thing here is that all the work that we've been doing upstream actually started off of a discussion that we've took place here in Blink-On 2017. It was Blink-On 7 with some Intel folks uh, some guys from Igalia and some guys from Google as well. So that's why the networking here is so important. And after that, we've been giving some uh, updates to the community on many Blink ones. And what, 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 what I want to show here is how two different words actually got connected and became a new project. So basically, in one hand, we have the Chrome OS ecosystem. And here we have various Chromebook devices and various Chromebook vendors and all this. And for, for us to understand, I want uh, to pay attention to three main concepts here. The first one is that on Chrome OS, the system UI, including the window manager, the login screen, and the web browser itself, they are on the same binary. So whenever it crashes, actually the whole system goes down and up. So that's one thing. And there is also another key concept. It's Ash, the window win, the win manager itself, and ESO, which is the Vue team Wayland compositor that ships today in Chrome OS. So these three things are gonna come up later on. And on the other hand, we have Linux desktop that was already introduced by Young Su uh, earlier on. And basically on Chromium, on Linux, we have Chromium running on top of this abstraction layer named Ozone. And it basically wraps actual platform and desktop environment interfaces. On desktop Linux, again, it defaults to X11 Ozone, and users can opt in to Wayland today. So what Lacrosse is actually in practice, basically we have Chrome OS with a built-in Wayland compositor, name it ESO, and we have a Wayland Chromium application that we are making running on Chrome OS on top of this uh, ESO compositor. So basically we're bringing two words together and launching a brand new project. Egal has been involved on in this, in various aspects, together some some other f Google folks, uh, including the look and feel, like rounded corners, frame decoration, tab dragging, as Max said, and window manager integration on desktop and on Chrome OS. We also have, from the beginning, handling gestures, input overhaul, including stylus. We've also worked with some mis miscellaneous web UI fixes, uh, tablet mode fixes. In graphics land, we've implemented or helped with the delegated, com delegated compositing feature, overlays, IME, stability, RNS, and all this stuff. So we've been doing a lot, and this is in practice how in one side you see Lacrosse fully integrated with the Chrome OS uh, environment, and a raw Chromium Wayland also running on Chrome OS. Uh, so they look different, but they are actually the same source base in practice. If you want to help us to, you know, test it out, just go on your Linux desktop and enable uh, the Wayland backend. If you are on Chrome OS, just enable Lacrosse and you can file bugs and all this. And that's it. Uh, thank you very much. And our final lightning talk for the day will be live but remote. we done by Gene. Stop sharing. Now, Gene, are you?